Did you know there is something you can do that takes only three seconds but could save your life? In fact, it could save the lives of over 10,000 people a year. Curious? Let's take a look. Bush Stadium, home of the St. Louis Cardinals. Have you ever seen a game there? Do you have any idea how many people it takes to fill up the stadium? The answer is about 40,000. That's a lot of people. Yet, shockingly, it's the same number of people who die each year in traffic crashes on our US roads and highways. Traffic crashes are one of the leading causes of death in the US. In Missouri alone, about 1,000 people a year lose their lives on our roadways. What makes this sadder still is that about 63% of the Missourians who died were not wearing their seatbelts at the time of the crash. Research tells us that about 50% of those lives could have survived if they had buckled up. These are parents, children, girlfriends, and boyfriends who didn't make it home for dinner. The crash that took these lives was not necessarily the fault of the person who was killed. It may not have had anything to do with their driving abilities, or they may have been a passenger. When something goes wrong and a crash occurs, that person can become a victim if they are not properly restrained in the vehicle. And the saddest thing of all is that these deaths could have been prevented by wearing their seatbelts. For half of those who died in car crashes last year and were unrestrained, it's a frightening thought, but their death could have been prevented. In addition to those 40,000 people who die each year in traffic crashes, there are another 4.5 million who are injured severely enough to require medical assistance. Sometimes that injury is minor, but all too often the injury is life-changing. Almost 200,000 people each year suffer serious life-altering injuries in traffic crashes. That may mean a person won't ever walk again, may be in a wheelchair the rest of their lives, may have lost the ability to take care of themselves, or have a head injury that impacts their ability to remember and think. Permanent life-altering injuries. It may sound like I'm trying to scare you. I'm really not. I just want you to have the facts so you can make the best choice for yourself and for those around you. No one gets up in the morning and thinks, hey, I might be in a car crash today. I better put on a clean pair of underwear and use my seatbelt. Crashes happen without any time to make a plan. So, plan ahead and buckle up each and every time you climb into a car. Team seatbelt use is lower than our state and national averages, which means you are at higher risk. As a teenager, I'd like to challenge you today to make a commitment for one month to buckle up each and every time you get into a vehicle. Buckling up takes only three seconds. Even if you get into a vehicle 20 times in one day, you've only spent one minute of your time protecting yourself. Will you take this three second challenge today and buckle up each and every time? I hope you will. <laughs>